Hello, today we're going to look at metric conversions from kilo to milli. So recall with the metric system, we're going to focus on three of the base units, which are measurements of length in meters, measurements of volume in liters, and measurements of mass in grams. So the base unit is either meters, liters, or grams. The prefix modifies the size of the base unit. So for example, if we want something that is 10 times bigger, we would use deca. 100 times bigger, hecto. 1,000 times bigger, kilo. Or if we wanted to have something that is one-tenth of the size of the base unit, then we could use deci. 100th the size of the base unit, centi. Or 1,000th the size of the base unit, milli. So our first question asks us to convert from 55 mils milliliters to liters. So first of all find milli on your um, diagram and you're going to move your decimal one, two, three places to the left. So if I use the number 59 my decimal place is already at the end of the number. I move it one, two, three places. My new decimal place is there and I need to hold place with a zero. So that 59 milliliters is the same as 0.059 liters. Or you may be more familiar with taking 59 and dividing it by a thousand. You'd get the same answer. Okay, so now we want to look at 83.4 centimeters and figure out what that is in millimeters. So we'll erase this first one. And you're going from centimeters to millimeters, so you're increasing it by a factor of 10. So you have 83.4 and you're going to move your decimal one place to the right, which would be 834 millimeters. Or as we said, 83.4 times 10 millimeters. Finally, we're looking at 62.8 kilograms and we want to know what that is in grams. So if we start at kilo, we'd move it one decimal place, one, two, three times to get to the base unit of grams. So if I have 62.8 and I move it one, two, three times, my do, new decimal place with two zeros to hold place would be 62800 grams. Or I'm going to take 62.8 and multiply by 1000. Okay, same answer. Okay, hope that helps to clear things up.